Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the latest additions to the Victorinox knife lineup. This is called the Victorinox Companion. This knife comes in three different themes. It's a special edition version. Uh, this one is the New York style, which is the one that was most appealing to me. They have another that's called the Sydney and another yet called the Paris edition. Now, all these knives include the same implements. They're all going to come with uh, different color themes for their respective cities. All come with neck lanyards, a small carabiner here, as well as a Victorinox pendant that comes along with them that adds a little extra flair, if you will, uh, for this special edition knife that runs in the mid-70s, if I remember is what I paid for. It might have been closer to $80. Uh, what I'm most excited about with this knife, though, is that it adds a new implement. Now, Victorinox is a very, very old company, and they are kind of slow to add or change implements within their knives. So when they do, it's kind of a big deal. I think Victorinox did very, very well with this new implement. Uh, I think, in my personal opinion, it bodes well for Victorinox sort of keeping up with the times. And it's something that I would like to see make its way into various different mainstream knives in the future. Let's get into the tool set of the Victorinox Companion. So before we dive into the tool set, I want to highlight the neck uh, lanyard and carabiner and pendant that they sent along with this one. It's all in steel for the carabiner and the pendant. Comes with a swivel on the carabiner. All full metal, just works really well. Nice spring action on there. The pendant emblazoned with the Victorinox logo on one side and then on the other side a smaller Victorinox logo with Victorinox on the bottom. Very nicely done. Uh, it's just a nice little addition to this tool. Okay, so we get into the tool set of this guy now. We have, first and foremost, this is going to be in plus scale, so you're going to have your ballpoint pen here. Next to that, you have your toothpick. On the opposite side, it's going to come with your tweezers. Now, Normally with your uh, plus scale tools from Victorinox, you'll get a couple additional things. You'll get the eyeglass driver that would house within the corkscrew. In this case, it does not have it, nor does it have the straight pin, the stainless steel straight pin that would come underneath of, or, or house underneath of that corkscrew. Kind of baffled as to why they didn't add those two into this tool when it is a plus scale tool. First corkscrew next to that, parcel hook next to that we have the awl with the sewing eyelet and then obviously your key ring up front for attaching your lanyard to on the opposite side we have your standard victorinox blade next to that in favor of the pin blade they elected to put in the nail cleaner and nail file now personally i think this is a good option because i consider this tool to be more of an urban tool and in my personal opinion i think this sh sh tool should be added into several different other knives in favor of the pin blade i know opinions are going to vary widely on that but i like this tool i like the uh, especially in a pocket knife uh that's more themed urban if you will i think it's a, a better addition next to that is the ever famous Victorinox scissors. We all know that these work exceptionally well, probably the very best uh, scissors on a multi-tool on the planet. And then in front, we have your standard three combo tool. This is your flat driver, your bottle cap lifter, and your wire stripper. Locks into the 90 degree position for getting a little bit more torque on a fastener and also locks into the open position as well. And then finally, we get to the last tool, which is their new box cutting tool. Now I've had a chance to use this a little bit, and I will say that I am very, very impressed with how well it worked in just a couple of cuts that I did with it. But we're gonna bring some other stuff in here and we're gonna try this tool out. So you can see I kinda got it, I must have got some glue or something gum dump on it. I need to clean it a little bit. But what it has is this pierce cutting edge here, uh, which reminds me of of, of Leatherman style on the wingman and on the rev for their clamshell package opener where it pierces into something and I think it's going to have the same effect. I don't necessarily know that 
it was designed to be continue use like that all the time, but it allows you to, to start that initial pierce. And then once you bury the knife in, then the cut edge is going to be the serrated portion here on the back, which I can already vouch for that it cuts very, very well. So uh, last thing on this includes a little screwdriver up front. Let's give this a try, and I'm going to show you just how well this little guy works. So I was able to find a cardboard box that my jigsaw came in to try this out on. Now, this is not really designed to cut into cardboard or wasn't, I don't think their intention was for it to like pierce into cardboard and, and be cutting cardboard all day long with it. It's meant more as a package opener, but we're gonna try just that. So you can see, you can just pierce right through it and drag cut right down that thing. That is really fantastic how well that works. So that, that cut edge on the front that I was talking about gives you the ability to pierce into your package and then obviously the major cutting tasks happen in the serrated edge here it just works so so well that works almost better than a utility blade does because the fact that you're able to drag cut it uh, so effectively with a utility blade you're kind of forced into digging into it to drag cut it where this one it it just works better. Uh, it's a lot safer as well. This is a fantastic, fantastic tool. So let me just pierce it. Whoop. That was more me than the package, I think, or the knife. There we go. I'm going to try that again because I, I don't know what I did there, but I definitely got it off a little bit. Oh, yeah. Look how well that thing cuts. This, this particular blade for lack of a better term, is just what I'm going to call it, this package opener. I am really, truly impressed with that. It reminds me of, of the package opener that you see from Leatherman and how, you know, if you've watched my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of that tool. I'm a, I'm even bigger fan of this tool because it does more than just open up plastic. This is actually a very, very good package opener for cardboard and I think this fits well in any tool that's going to be considered more of a an office tool or a businessman's tool or an urban tool so let's take a look at that and we'll try it on some plastic both of them actually on some plastic as well okay so the first one that we're going to do is the wingman now we'll just set it along the back edge of the package here you kind of pierce in and so you can see just how smoothly that draw cuts around so that's very, very easily, with very little force, you're able to slice into that package. Now I'm gonna turn it around, and we're gonna try it with this one. Now I'm thinking that this should give the same effect. So we'll pierce into a corner, and you can see that it absolutely doesn't corner quite as well as the wingman does, but nonetheless, very, very effective at cutting through those clamshell packages as well. So I am really, really impressed with this new implement from Victorinox. And I hope that we see this in more mainstream knives because in my estimation, they've actually done this better than, than Leatherman did with this dual concept tool, actually three when you include the screwdriver, but the engineering at Victorinox has done a very, very good job with this tool. And like I mentioned before, this is kind of what I consider Victorinox sort of keeping up with the times, if you will. I don't see the need to have a can opener on everything, and I know a lot of people have that same opinion. By eliminating the can opener on this particular knife in favor of this tool, I think this is a very, very, very good option. Now, I get it. I, I, I also use a can opener, especially with my work traveling on the road quite a bit. Uh, of course, I'm not a big fan of the Victorinox. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm not as good uh, at opening cans with the Victorinox style can opener as I am with the, the Leatherman Eagle Claw version. But in my opinion, I think it's a good idea to swap the, the, the tool they took out in favor of this tool, I think is the right choice. So this is Victorinox's new companion. I think it's been out for a little bit, but I've been pretty busy lately, so I haven't had a chance to keep up with everything. I really think this is fantastic. Can't wait to see it in future versions of Victorinox Knives. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.